Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 2 of the Arivaki campaign. Now in the last episode we were defeated in battle up here in Keltibira, Keltibira by the Carpitani or the Magic Carpet as I'm going to call them. We have a secondary army which is fortified at the moment and it is the Wrath of Cariocesis. This is my army which was defeated. We can actually upgrade some of the armor in these units which I am going to do so we'll do that first of all got plenty of money which I'm quite surprised with to be, to be honest that we have so much money and I'm going to try and sabotage this unit here see if we can weaken them a little bit I'm hoping that we can oh there we go excellent excellent news has he ranked up not quite but he will next time have a quick check of the diplomacy. So we are liked by the Iler Cavones and the Vetones, who are east and west of us, which I'm happy about to protect our flanks. The Vascones in the north are fairly happy with us as well. I'm not too bothered about the north at the moment. I want to try to take all the south. That's going to be my aim. So take Celtibera. Then we'll try and take Hispania, Ulteria, and then eventually the Tertidani lands. Build a nice little empire and then push upwards. So that is what we will try to aim for in the initial stages of this campaign. Let's check Numantia here a minute. Yeah, I can't upgrade anything there at the moment. Technology-wise, we're currently looking for Headhunt. That will help us with our mercenary upkeep costs and ammunition for all missile units. So that's our aim there. Uh, we haven't got any. Ooh, I know we haven't got agents apart from the one spy. Can we get more than one spy? We can get a champion, which will be beneficial. And um, they all look ugly as fuck, so we will go with this one. There we go. War Baden, she can come and meet up with these eventually, and she can help train them up. And we can end turn, I think. So we'll see what happens in the end turn phase. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day myself. I got my Game of Thrones series 3 back off my girlfriend and ooh peace, they want peace, no I don't want peace, fuck off I got my Game of Thrones series 3 back off my girlfriend, she borrowed it off me, she had it for a few weeks so I'm watching that now catching up with it, ready for series 4 which is out in a matter of weeks I've already seen series 3 once, I watched it when it was on TV but I haven't watched it since so it'll be good to watch it again I'm looking forward to it. So this army can now come out of this stance. I'm gonna push on to about there. I'm just gonna creep up on them. I don't want to just march. Actually we could reach them though, couldn't we? Now we're gonna fortify. I'd rather them come to me in the fortified stance because I can ping them with my ballista. Which will help me out a great deal. We are recruiting a unit here. We are replenishing as well. So this army didn't do too badly in the the defeat that we had previously. We do have some ballista in this army as well which I'm pleased about. I wish we had a few more units though because you know, spearmen, swordsmen, skirmishers, they're very basic. I'm hoping that they do have better units so I need to take a few settlements first and try to upgrade some of the stuff I have. Let's try and sabotage this again. Weaken them as much as I can. Oh damn it, failed this time unfortunately. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Oh, buggeration. Right. What can we do? We can, food is okay. That's good. I'm just going to check this. Uh, can we get some trade, I wonder, this time? Welcome Did try last time. They will trade if I pay them 300. That's f that's fine. i got plenty of money at the moment, so that's not an issue at all. The more money I get per turn, the better. Again, 1,221 next time out. Let's check this. This I don't think this really matters anymore. It does in the main campaign, but yeah, it doesn't really matter apart from let me know who I'm allied with, at war with, and stuff. But I am going to worry about gravitas, so we'll ignore that. And I wish I could see a bit more of the map. I will when I start conquering some lands. I'm hoping to conquer this land this episode. That is my aim for this episode. And this army is also recruiting, which can also support. So I should be able to take it fairly easily. I don't want to take too long in case somebody swoops in there and takes it from me. So need to act with haste and march my army in there. 
And here we go, this is what I wanted. I want them to attack me in fortified stance. Oh my, they have a lot more men than me, but I do have ballista, so let's assault them. Fight on the battlefield. I'll stick my spearmen in the gateways. I'll have my slingers supporting. I'll probably have two of the ballistas attack them while I manually control the other one. And I'll stick my swordsmen in, in the middle to support. It's important that my ballistas do a lot of damage though. So I probably won't be using flaming shot apart from the one I control. I want to try to maximize the damage that I do. Um, also, this campaign's on very hard difficulty. I don't think I mentioned it in the first episode. Or oh, actually, I might have mentioned it. I can't remember. But just let you know again, it is very hard difficulty. I think all my campaigns on Rome Two have been, well, apart from one which I done legendary, but most of them tend to be very hard. Oh, I can't drag this. What is going on? There we go. It's that's that's an improvement. Stick some more spikes here. If it will let me. Pathfinder's playing up a little bit. And as you can see, my warriors are still pink. This happened in the first episode. I have deleted most of my mods, but obviously that hasn't really changed it. So I'm going to have to work on that now. Uh, later on. Hopefully in the next few days when I come to record this again. Because I'll probably have a break for a day or two and record some other stuff. But I'm hoping that it will eventually sort itself out. That is the hope. Let's get some of these stones there and then we have some more barricades which we will put in the centre here. The longer it takes them to get to me the better. Right then, let's get to my thinking brain on. Control A. Let's get everything out here a minute so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. So, first things first. What's up with these towers? What the hell is going on here? They've got four towers. Uh, shouldn't they be f in each corner? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, spearmen. I want them. I may actually put the other two supporting behind. I think that might be beneficial. Just blob them in like so. It should be alright. Now we'll stick them like that. We'll group this unit up as well. I'm going to stick my Scutari fighters. Oh, I'm pathfinding. Don't do that to me. I'm going to stick them just t just behind for support. I have lots of Balearic Slingers, or oh, Iberian Slingers, I do apologise. Uh, I, wa I wanted to try out the Balearic Slingers, I hope you can get them as mercenaries in southern Spain, that's what I'm hoping for. We stick them like so, and then we have these left then. Ballista! So we'll have one. Oop. On the right flank we'll have one. On the left flank, and then the final Ballista. Ballista will be mine, and I will be controlling this. Is this going to catch that hut by there? I hope not. I'm a bit worried. Okay, we'll start battle. Ballista! Let's get the ballista on automatic. Get these on automatic. And the enemy is actually outflanked me. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, let's turn this crap around. Let's get the spearmen. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I was hoping that this wouldn't be the case, but unfortunately I have been outfoxed. Not a problem though. All I have to do is simply turn most of my units around, which I should be able to do reasonably easy, or easily. Get my proper my proper vocabulary going. Oh god, pathfinding, what are you doing to me? Pathfinding is being a bit tricky. Let's get these soldier, uh, Scutari and my noble fighters in here as well, like so. If we can hold them up here, my towers can do most of the work. This is all wasted then. <laughs> we do have some reinforcements coming from over here, but they're too far away to, to worry me. Ballista! Let's get the ballista in some kind of order as well. Because they're all messed up at the moment. Ballista! Ballista will start firing. We are actually taking some of them out. 80, 120. Oh, they take quite a lot of them out, actually. And they're actually holding back. Oh, no, they're not. They are coming forward. So it's pink versus pink. It's quite confusing at the moment. 
this happened, I believe, with Caesar in goal. Saliga! So, it's not the first time this has happened. Anyway, let's get the old firing going. Is that a good shot? Oh, over hit, I think. Damn it. I want to get the fire going. Flammable shot. Explosive. Explosive, if you want. Explosive round. Let's get some. I can't tell because of all the pink, so I'm a bit confused. But they I say. No, play it at my gate. Shit. It's not good at all. I can see a target, a pink target. But they. Don't hit my old man. I'll do. Hey, there we go. Hitting the pink Teletubbies. Swag. About there, I say. Go about there. Oh, overhit. Shit. Didn't want that. Feel artillery. Right. Uh, about there, I'd say. Maybe. There. Looks. Oh, shit. That was bad. Let's concentrate on my men at the war, because shit, we're losing some men here. Good daddy. Get your asses in there, please. Let's get the old skills going. Get headhunt going. Start blobbing. Blob, blob away. It's important my artillery. Get some shots in here. I can't tell who's who because of all the pink, so I'm gonna have to risk this. I think it's gonna be a big risk. Woohoo! That was quite good. Getting the old shots going. Come on. Come back out. That's what I wanted. Oh. Oh, I think we took those horses down. That's quite cool. The longer we hold them here, the better, because my towers can start firing upon them. They do appear to have broken through, though, so we are in the shit. Quite literally. What the hell's going on here? Come on, man. Why are you running for? You idiots. Oh, damage. Damage. Oh, and again. Just keep pelting the shit out of them. Hopefully we can get them to route. Once a few of them start routing, we should be... Well, fairly okay. Just keep hitting them. Keep hitting them with all we got. They're there for the taking. If we can just hold up a bit longer. Oh, bloody hell. Quite literally. About there. Yeah. Oh, horses, you're gone. I'm enjoying this. This is quite fun. Although they are breaking through as before long they're going to... Oh, they are starting to route now, is what I wanted. Keep pelting the shit out of them with artillery. Eventually they'll start to route. Once a few of them start routing. They all start routing, and this is what I want. Oh, ho, ho, ho. made me talk like Yoda for a second. Then, excellent work. Right, I think we're doing okay. Let's go to this first-person mode. Let's get these men. Let's get them to charge out, and let's get all the ballista. Oh, what's happened? Let's get them all to keep firing. They do still have. Oh, they're gone. They routed. Right, looks like we've won this. I'm going to continue for a few moments because I want to try and take out... Oh, what happened there? Strange work. Right, let's get the ballista. Oh, this is the one that's gone. Let's, let's get this. But here, I wanted to take out as many as I can and to get some experience. So let's aim for the pink. Let's take some practice shots on them. Take a few of them out. Oh, excellent. We have taken a few of them out. And we have won our first battle in this campaign, which is very pleasing indeed. Although I would like the <laughs> the colours to change, obviously, but that will that will sort itself out, I'm sure. They do have a way of sorting themselves out these things. Like I said earlier, it did happen with Caesar in Gaul. I'll I'll delete I think I still got one or two mods which are still in my in my mod manager, so I may look into deleting them as well. Unfortunately you have to download these mods again which is a bit irritating but you know I will do it and we'll see how it goes. Whee! Oh no! 
Yes, we got him. Got another one. That looks pretty good. Hopefully we'll get some. Yes, no. Yo, we got one. Not doing too well with these shots. Gotta watch out because my men are chasing them up now as well. This will be the last shot, I think. Yeah, I can't be asked to do any more. Let's escape this battle then, so quick battle. Victory! Ooh! Achievement unlocked, look to the defences. That's quite good. I'll have a look at that later on. Can't be asked. look now. So, deployed a lot less than them, but we won in seven minutes altogether. And we only lost 315. Very pleased that the artillery, as you can see, did most of the work. 206, 287 on one of them. But the carpet Dani will be killed. I could have released them, I think that would, would have helped my relations, but oh well. These things got to be done. Troops recruited, which is what I wanted. This army and this army. Right, so this army can move out now to reinforce. This army can. First of all, we can get this, so we'll go with authority. And we'll also go back to normal stance. And we shall attack the blazing fury of NATO. Ooh, shite, maybe we won't. I don't know, let's see. Oh, oh it's because of the town, Iberian tribesmen. I'm going to retreat for a second. Only because. I've got an idea. Let's get some mercenaries going. Even the playing field. And there we go, we're going to attack these, but we're going to attack these in the next episode. So I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.